My name is Chris Riker. I'm the president of the Barry College Democrats on campus and the vice president of advertising and publicity for the SOC. Give kisses. Yes. Go give kisses. Oh, look, yes. he's smiling. <laughs> he's smiling. You want to give me kisses? You want to give me kisses? Give daddy kisses. Mojito, you give me kisses. Good girl. <laughs> I'm Rain Burst. I'm his girlfriend. I'm not currently in school right now, but I'm working. This is Mojito. She knows the camera's on, so she wasn't trying to be in the She's area. She's a little camera shy, mm. but she's a sweetheart. Mm. And Look she's my smile. little baby. She's yeah. a year and five months, and we first got her to own when she was four weeks. Mojito is an 18-month-old dog who loves to fetch, run, and cuddle. But she is not welcome in Miami-Dade County. There is a law called BSL, which stands for Breed Specific Legislation, and Miami-Dade is the only county in Florida who has it. This says that no breed in the Pipple family is legal here. The two owners of Mojito have their thoughts on how they feel about the Miami law. I think it's simply a, a symbol of fear. You know, there's something happened and somebody has to be responsible. And since that somebody is an animal, it's kind of retroactive on a breed. Yeah, especially because, like, people aren't very educated on what um, pit bulls were bred for. They were considered the nanny dogs, so they were actually bred for taking care of children and watching over them because they're extremely protective. And, you know, once they're taught a certain thing, especially if it's negativity and hate, they hold on to that. They're very, um, they're very smart dogs. But this law does not stop Mojito from being a friendly and loving neighborhood dog. We weren't very cool with our neighbors beforehand until we got her, especially with the cop across the street. Um, it softened him up because he saw like a little puppy that he liked and he was just like, oh, okay, like I guess these two like can't be that bad. He's actually a pit bull owner himself. Yeah, and at one point had a big one. And we, actually we talked to him about it one day. We were like, what do you, how do you feel about, you know, the ban on pit bulls? And he was just like, I think it's stupid. Like, I, I'm a cop, so I see, like, I've taken plenty of pit bulls and stuff from, like, crime scenes. And, like, I, there, it's, it's sad because, like, they don't deserve the bad rep that they're getting. The county does not care about the personality of the breed. If caught with a pit bull in Miami-Dade by the government officials, owners face a $500 charge along with the removal and euthanization of the pet. I'd say that the, the media specifically lumps in the idea of a pit bull with uh, like when you when you see news shots about things that are going on, um, even when it's not a pit bull attack, there's gang activity, and you'll see you'll see a pit bull lug, lumped in with a with a big with a big metal chain. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've seen that exact film, whether it's Channel Seven, Channel Four, it, it, they are all the same. Mojito's owners are determined to keep educating the county about their loving breed and to make a difference for the future of owners and dogs.